yeah. <laughs> a few years ago, I got a message from my mother-in-law telling me about the Mahu Whenua Traverse and the Mountain Turk Club. Camping on snowy mountains, rangers in a tent with ice falling into his sleeping bag during a mammoth ski traverse of the Southern Alps. Mountaineer and adventurer Eric Bradshaw thought there had to be a better way to get out in the mountains. Eric had a simple but brilliant idea to convert a large plastic water tank into a four bunk hut, which he called a Turk, and to have it chop it into the back country. It was a crazy idea that was initially met with lots of scepticism. But ever an optimist and a boundary pusher, he persevered. He established the Mountain Turk Club and found a community of people keen to help out and bring his vision to life. And what's developed is an epic five-hut ski trail from Coronet Peak to Treble Cone ski fields called the Mahu Whenua Traverse. We had done a few ski touring trips and my mates were gearing up so we could do some more. Our crew for this adventure was Ferg, our Swiss Alpine guide, Blair, our team snowboarder, JP, the first time tourer with the heavy pack, Ant, the card shark, Andrew the chef, and Andy the cameraman. The challenge with most alpine trips is finding a weather window. With touring you also need good snow and low avalanche danger. An avalanche at the Remarkables was all over the news. The risk level was high and snow conditions poor. After a few phone calls to the TC Ski Patrol and some local traverse expertise, we came up with a safe plan to avoid the steep, risky slopes. The only downside was a very expensive four-wheel drive trip into Skipper's Canyon and a 1,000 vertical meter climb on the first day versus our planned 10 kilometer gentle downhill traverse. Yeah, this is the Skipper's Saddle. This is about just under a thousand feet above sea level here. Brief, the history of this road briefly was built in the um, 18 something, 1882 to about 1889. It was built um, on the back of the gold rush here. So it's the gold, they discovered gold in the Shotover River in 1862. The first guys that found it were literally bending over and picking it up. The route is just over 40 kilometres and has a fair bit of up and down. 4,000 vertical metres, more than Aeraki Mount Cook, the highest mountain in Aotearoa. It also provides lots of time with skis on your back. The route offers a world-class alpine traverse. Routes like this are popular in Europe and North America and provide a once in a lifetime experience of staying in high mountain huts. The traverse runs along the backbone of the Harris Mountains. The terrain here is perfect for backcountry skiing as it offers enough excitement without excessive risk from steep country and glacier travel. With the five established huts, you're never too far from a safe shelter should weather conditions deteriorate.
Yes, yeah, so there is a bit of year, hence, hence why the name is arrived with year. Um, so it's a, it's a plastic water tank, but it's it's fitted out very nicely. Like if you imagine a round tank, you cut a door into it and a window, but you've you've put a nice door and a nice window, and inside of it you've lined it um, with a nice floor, a nice ceiling. Um, there's a sort of felt ish fabric around half the back, sort of where the bunks are, and there's a cooking bench and a nice seat and some a piece of art. So it's, it's a very nice place to be. Lights, camera, action. Hey team, this is a St Just Turk. Now, what it doesn't have, we'll just start there, it doesn't have any Turkish uh, midgets to give you a little massage at the end of a long day. Uh, it doesn't have hot running water, but that's about it. It's got everything else going for it. And this tiny little Turk, you've got bunks for four. We managed to actually squeeze six of us in here. Uh, incredible setup, plenty of gas for cooking, plenty of water. Uh, beautiful bathroom, but it made awesome in terms of all the fixtures and fitting. And uh, certainly recommended spot to stay, so join the club and get on up. Vibe for the adventure. Afternoon and early evening, sipping hot lemon tea and playing cards until well past our bedtime, squeezing six blokes into a four person hut, a few shots of Jim Bean and whiskey at bedtime. And the food obsession, comparing our dehydrated meals and fueling for our daily adventures. Thank you. Come in last. Come on, fellas. Get in the bed. Oh, thank you, Gordon. 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 Oh, thank you